When you become each other's number one priority, that you're always going to agree. That's just part of life. And we talked about that. What do you do when you come to those intersections of life when you have decisions to make and you see things differently? You learn how to navigate, you learn how to negotiate, but it also means you care about each other. You care about each other's well-being. In other words, the word selfish doesn't get involved here. Even though we all are, including me, are a little bit selfish by nature. But what it means is, going forward from here, that you're saying to each other, you're making each other the first priority in your life. sure if you're aware of this but before meeting you I was content with just being a single mom and focusing on Aiden work and my daily life routine I promised myself that if and when I ever did get involved in a serious relationship that it would be with someone who would love me and my son unconditionally <laughs> who would have thought that you were the man and who were the, who would have thought that you were the main missing piece of puzzle I needed to complete my life I do believe that everything does happen for a reason. So what captured my attention the most was seeing the relationship and bond that has developed between you and my son, Aiden. And anyone who knows me knows that Aiden is my world. All I can say is that Aiden likes you well enough to consider himself a Dallas Cowboys fan. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna work on changing that. <laughs> I am so in love with you and I'm honored and blessed that you open your heart and your world to me. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm never short on words. And I know I don't have to tell you this because I've been talking your ear off pretty much nonstop since we first started dating. And somehow you're still here. Sometimes, <laughs> I roll over in the middle of the night and I <clears throat> while I'm asleep and uh, just to make sure you're really still there and I also check because I want to make sure you didn't run off on me while I was sleeping as good as I am at having a conversation writing these sentiments to you was one of the most challenging things I've ever done not because I couldn't think of anything to say but because I wanted to say something truly meaningful to you something from my heart do you remember me telling you that <coughs> before we met <coughs> for quite some time, um, before we even started talking and dating, I had this, I had seen you around and I secretly admired you. And whenever we, we crossed paths, this thought would enter my head, what if? It's true. But falling in love with you was way more than about just about that to me. I mean, it was about that, but it's also about just being in your presence. And I can only describe that as complete bliss and happiness. And so if there's one thing I can ask that you remember from this day on our wedding, is that you please remember that I will love you forever. I just want you to know that I not only love you, but I need you. We have been inseparable since the first day we started dating, and I don't ever want to imagine a day without you in it. You are my best friend, my shoulder to lean on, my biggest supporter, the love of my life. Thank you for choosing me, loving me as your life partner. I will love, protect, cherish you until my very last breath. Couldn't happen to a better person, you know. 
to both of them. I know Sean and Annie in separate ways, but I think this union is going to be something that's very special. And I'm really proud of you guys uh, and all the friends and family that really you know, embrace the changes that you, you know, uh, want to go through. I hope that uh, you have a very um, you know, long and prosperous relationship together, and, and we become close friends even more than that. And then I'll talk to you later about not being the best man. All right? Let's toast, you guys. Congratulations. I'm still hurt about that. I'm not giving up. Um, I just want Annie to know, and I know she already knows it, that Sean is the kindest, sweetest, smartest, best man that there is. There's, there's none better except than my son. <laughs> he was the one who always comforted mom. And we found in her diary after she died just how special Sean was to her and about how, how she just loved those calls where her little Sean would call and just make her, make her day. And it, it kept her going. And uh, so he was, he was always just the sweetheart to everyone, always the champion to everyone. To the kid in school who was picked on, Sean was the one sticking up for that kid. Um, I just, I love my brother so much. And uh, I just want to say that we haven't known you very long, but our family loves you. And we look forward to getting to know you better and spending more time with you. Thank you for letting me say a little something. I love you, Sean, with all my heart, and I'm so glad that we could be here. You know, it's it's hard to to stand here and there's so many emotions. Like it's it's hard but exciting at the same time and I'm super happy for you guys and it's it's just beautiful, you know. I mean Annie, like she said, if she could be comfortable being single her entire life, but I'm glad that she met someone that she could think about spending the rest of her life with. You don't marry the person you live with, you marry the person you can't live without. That sums up Sean and Annie perfectly. Annie, you look really, really beautiful. And you're my best bud. And I love you very much. Sean, you are a very great addition to our family. I know that you will take care and love Annie and Aiden. And um, Kaylin, you're also a great addition to our family as well. I want to wish you guys the best. And along with your new chapter, your new journey, a couple of shows together, concerts and whatnot, but Sean's always, always been a great friend and always been there for me. And one thing I know about Sean, that is, like, if he loves you, he cares about you, he'll always care about you. He'll dedicate his life to you, and he'll always be true to your friendship, whatever that may be, right? And one thing I know that Sean will, will take care of Annie, so... Yes, so I, I wish you guys the best of luck. Cheers. And Sean, thank you for being that good friend that anyone could ask for. And I do wish you and Annie a lifetime of happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an emotional evening. Even the cupcake is in tears. It's now given me the immense pleasure, not to mention relief, to invite you all to stand and raise your glasses to, to Mr. and Mrs. John Farrell. Thank you. I want to finish by saying that I thank my lucky stars for you. I know our love was meant to be beyond any doubt and is destined by the stars. When I think of you, I think of these two words, and you know these words, Kairos and Forosket. And you know these because these have been part of our relationship's vocabulary since day one. 
So for everybody who doesn't know, kairos is a Greek word, and it means the fleeting rightness of time and place that creates the opportune atmosphere for actions, words, or movement. Forelsket is a Norwegian word. It actually means the feeling of euphoria that you get when you experience first falling in love. It's, it's the energy you get at the start of a relationship that you want to last forever. Before there was an us, I never knew those two words existed, much less what they meant. But every day they remind me of why I fell in love with you, Annie. With each passing day, I will love you more and more. I vow to make, always make you my top priority and to do my best to keep you safe and to keep telling you all the corny jokes I can think of to help keep you smiling. I will love, protect, cherish you until my very last breath.